Um, uh, Kofi Adams, mm. what, why did Parliament end the way it did? And what really are the ramifications, Kofi Adams? Well, thank you and good morning to your lovely uh, viewers and listeners on various platforms. And let me specifically uh, greet my constituents, the constituents of BWIM, for giving me the opportunity and doing me the honor of representing them. Uh, this morning you have asked the question, why did it end the way it ended? Certainly. Because the minority MPP yesterday chose to be so irresponsible and did what they did. And so... What do you mean by irresponsible? Well, you have been elected to be in Parliament and to aid the performance of what? Government business through parliamentary processes. But on this occasion, they chose their self-interest, that the desire to continue to be in majority, which they do not have at the moment, to boycott parliamentary business. And so the speaker had no other alternative but to do what he did in the circumstance. Why did the speaker, the speaker know very well, and I agree with the speaker, that the speaker took the right decision on the 17th of October, following the statement made by the then minority leader, now majority leader, Honorable Dr. Kiesel Atoba Forsen, that four members of parliament who entered parliament with a certain status have had that change, and by effect, they have vacated their uh, uh, position and cited a precedent where an MPP member of parliament for Formina in the year 2020 suffered same in November of the year 2020 when Speaker Michael Kwe had to declare his seat vacant because he had filed as an independent candidate to contest the 2020 elections. Mm. It wasn't considered then as a future intention. It was considered based on all the laws and so available. And I've, I've taken a serious read of the Constitution and not just read the Article 97, uh, uh, 1, G and H, but you must also look at even our Constitution in terms of even going to Chapter 1 and looking at what? Clause 3. That deals with defense of the Constitution. You see, the Constitution is so clear that it says <coughs> Parliament cannot legislate to have a one-party state. And so? I'm building a case. That parliament cannot legislate for us to have a one-party state. You move further to look at the uh, uh, representation of the people mm. and political parties, registration of political parties. One of the first documents that is required for an organization to be registered with the Electoral Commission as a political party is their <coughs> constitution. Mm -hmm. And it is also stated in that provision that their constitution should be in tandem with the constitution of the Republic of what? Ghana. It must not be inconsistent with the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And so to register as a political party, your constitution is the first document that is listed in the 1992 constitution as a document required to be submitted to the electoral commission. Then it talks about founding members that must be present in all the district and so on and so forth. So the provisions in the political party's constitution are not mere provisions that should be kept only for the political party to work with. The political party is a public organization. That is why they are audited. Their audit, audited accounts would have to be submitted to the Electoral Commission and published. And so their constitution is not just something mere for them. With the argument that, oh, they have to trigger. They have to. Is their party. They can do anything that they want with their Shadows, cons this constitution. Point you're making, why is it important? And how does it, it is give meaning to the argument now? It is important to show you that 
when your constitution says a member who supports who contests as independent against the party's official candidate a member who supports or make public pronouncement in favor of another candidate other than mm. your party's uh, legally chosen candidate forfeits his membership automatically the question is, is it, should it be now or in the next parliament? And I'm saying that it says forfeit your membership automatically. Mm. Then the national constitution says, if you leave, if you leave the party <coughs> that you are a member of, if you have for, forfeiture of membership means that you cease to be a member, meaning that you have left. If you leave, you cease to be a member. And these have applied in the past. In the year 2020, it applied. All the MPP lawyers that we are hearing today speak and talk about futuristic is future. We never heard any one of them speak then. At least for today, I've heard some MPP persons who have spoken that, look, what the speaker did was right.